In this lecture, we will learn about what cloud computing is. Cloud computing is everywhere, whether we are using Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, Zoom for video conferencing, or Citrix server to connect to workplace remotely. There are countless examples of cloud computing. With respect to Amazon Web Services, AWS architectural underpinning is based on cloud computing. That being said, in order to have a solid foundation of AWS or any cloud service provider, for that matter, understanding of cloud computing concept is a foundational must step. So what is cloud computing? Cloud computing is essentially about providing services such as infrastructure, platform, or software over the internet. The cloud in cloud computing is used as a metaphor for the internet. Cloud computing refers to internet-based computing. In cloud computing, computing resources such as servers, storage, network, and software applications are delivered over the internet. In general terms, cloud computing is about providing services over the internet. Over the internet is the key phrase in the context of cloud computing. Cloud computing's underpinning hardware is the same physical server, storage, and network. The only difference is that cloud architecture enables cloud providers to organize and consolidate massive hardware, such as computing resources, storage, network, and software, to make it available over the internet. Let's understand cloud computing further. Applying the concept of virtualization, virtual machine, and hypervisor that you learned, you can create more than one virtual machine on the same physical server. Now let's say you have provided your user to use APIs to create VMs on a physical server. That physical server doesn't matter where it is located. That is the basic concept of cloud computing. This particular example of cloud computing is also called infrastructure as a service. On the same token, cloud providers provide APIs to access different types of services such as infrastructure, storage, and database over the internet. It doesn't matter where the service is. This is what cloud computing is in a broad, general way. So we learned cloud computing in a very simplistic way. Let's see what AWS says. This is the slide I have added to show you what AWS has. Cloud computing is the on-demand delivery of IT resources over the internet with pay-as-you-go pricing. Instead of buying, owning, and maintaining physical data centers and servers, you can access technology services such as computing power, storage, and databases on an as-needed basis from a cloud provider like Amazon Web Services, AWS. This slide refers to a screenshot from the AWS website. Who is using cloud computing? Organizations of every type, size, and industry are using the cloud for a wide variety of use cases, such as data backup, disaster recovery, email, virtual desktops, software development and testing, big data analytics, and customer-facing web applications. For example, healthcare companies are using the cloud to develop more personalized treatments for patients. Financial services companies are using the cloud to power real-time fraud detection and prevention. And video game makers are using the cloud to deliver online games to millions of players around the world. Now let's go through the formal definition of cloud computing from the National Institute of Standards and Technology, NIST, of the United States. Cloud computing is a model for enabling ubiquitous, convenient, on-demand network access to a shared pool of configurable computing resources that can be rapidly provisioned and released with minimal management effort or service provider interaction. This cloud model is composed of five essential characteristics, three service models, and four deployment models. There are some keywords to notice in the NIST definition of cloud computing. These are on-demand network access, shared pool of configurable computing resources, rapidly provisioned and released. On the other hand, in the traditional classic on-premises data center, the computing storage and network resources are bought, set up, and permanently configured by the customers in maximum capacity, regardless of how much the actual need is. Depending on the business season, this resource allocation may be less. In that case, resources are wasted. However, there is also a possibility that the resources cannot meet demand. 
In that case, there is the chance of reducing service quality and the risk of losing customers because of quality concerns. There is no demand concept, sharing of the resource pool, and rapid on-demand provision in a classic on-premises data center. Another important point to keep in mind is that cloud computing is predicated upon purchasing services based on customers' needs, on-demand, and stopping, closing the service, or terminating when you are done with the usage. Now we know the term cloud computing. There is another related term, cloud computing platform. The backend system providing services is called the cloud computing platform. The another related term is cloud services. The services which are being provided by the backend system over the internet are called cloud services. Another related term is cloud computing platform provider. The providers such as AWS, Google and Microsoft which are providing cloud services from their cloud computing platform are called cloud computing platform providers. To summarize, cloud computing provides infrastructure, platforms, software and other related services over the internet. The back-end system of cloud computing is called the cloud computing platform and the services are called cloud services. The providers who are providing cloud services from their cloud computing platform are called cloud computing platform providers, cloud platform providers, or cloud services providers. We went through what cloud computing is and the many related terms that you may come across with respect to cloud computing. I hope when you hear these terms next time, you can easily know what they are.